name is Natalino Busa. I'm a platform and a data architect at ING. Well, definitely uh, the amount of data is uh, uh, increasing at a very high pace lately. So, um, all the solutions for analytics which uh, mean anything for big data today are all clustered solutions. So, they require a number of nodes or machines to operate in a coordinated way in order to perform those analytical functions. I would say that uh, um, the analytical power is growing, uh, whether that would match the amount of data which is being produced uh, on a daily basis, this still remains the question. Definitely, I would imagine that uh, we are going to expect uh, uh, new uh, developments and new technologies to pop up in, in the next year just to uh, cope with the uh, sheer amount of information. Yeah, today in memory analytics is the way to get closer to customer interaction uh, on websites, uh, mobile apps and APIs. Uh, so if, in fact if you want to be uh, up to date and uh, auctionable with your uh, analytical insight, uh, you have these days to, uh, to push your algorithms and your, te and your techniques towards uh, uh, in-memory computing. Um, with respect to uh, real-time analytics, Real-time analytics uh, today has, um, is driven by the, the fact that, the, let's say, the wisdom of the crowd and the trending, which is happening on a minute-by-minute on a minute basis, is influencing uh, the behavior of uh, um, analytical solutions and marketing solutions much more than in the past was actually um, provided by solutions like a traditional big data that look at uh, more historical data. So the, the difference uh, with respect to the past uh, um, is that today in memory and real-time analytics they actually target uh, auctionable uh, marketing and campaign and techniques which are effective for the interaction as they happen in APIs, webs and, and mobile. I would say that uh, these sort of uh, interactions are just going to be more and more uh, pervasive in the industry in the future. So we will see more and more of in-memory and real-time analytics coming up, definitely. Analytics as such will still be based on uh, uh, functions and, and models. Uh, which um, are able to extract insight from uh, a large amount of data. Um, in general, I would say that in, in terms of uh, um, mathematics and models, um, there has been an evolution, but not really a revolution with respect to, uh, to those techniques. What we do see in, this, uh, in the coming years is more of uh, a different use of those techniques in order to target uh, uh, real-time events. So we will see more the analytics being used as a, as a personalized instrument in order to target specific needs for specific individuals in the futures. Yeah. Yes, data scientists these days are uh, coming in all sorts of forms and 